Hello, I'm Mikhail Chudiets, the producer of World of Tanks. Today, let's discuss Update 9.8, which will bring a new event game mode, significant changes to the personal missions, changes to maps, and buffs to about 20 vehicles. Some significant changes were made to personal missions in this update. Many missions were either reworked or rebalanced on the basis of the statistics and player feedback. In particular, playing in a platoon won't be required to complete platoon missions. What is a battle performance badge? This is a battle interface element that is already used in our other projects. It displays the effective and useful actions of players in the battle. For example, causing damage, spotting, destroying enemy vehicles, or capturing the base. What new features will be added to strongholds? Previously, stronghold battles were fought using two teams of 15 tier 10 vehicles. Now, when your stronghold is level 5, 6 or 7, battles will be fought using teams of 10 tier 8 vehicles instead. How will maps change? The Comoran map will be removed from random battles. Hidden Village will be limited to low tier battles. Also, a number of gameplay improvements and changes will be made to the maps Siegfried Line, Karelia, Sand River, Airfield, Westfield, and Muravanka. What changes will be made to vehicles? In this update, we will improve the characteristics of several vehicles that were falling behind statistically. More than 20 vehicles will be buffed, including the T-30, IS-8, and IS-7. What else should players expect? Besides everything else, we'll add the ability to create a platoon in battle and invite other players to join it. Perhaps the most interesting feature of Update 9.8 will be a new game mode called Domination. It will bring in several new game mechanics that have not been available in World of Tanks before. These include control points, flags for capturing, and even respawns. Basically, the battle doesn't end if your vehicle is destroyed. You will also be able to choose from three possible vehicles and get straight back into the same battle. Players will be able to repair their vehicles or resupply ammunition at special points on the map. Also, there will be an alternative way of achieving victory in battle. Besides just destroying all enemy vehicles, flags will appear in different places on the map. Players will be able to capture them and take them to their base. This will bring additional points to their team, and points mean victory. It's going to be a lot of fun.